Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're visiting with our Santa Fe County Assessor, Gus Martinez. Good morning, Gus. Good morning, Steva. Thanks for being with our listening audience today. I know that there is a very important notice that's going out to county residents uh, that is called the Notice of Value very shortly here. Tell us a little bit about what this Notice of Value is and what it does. Well, this Notice of Value, uh, what it is, is it um, tells you what your property is worth for the tax year of 2021 using uh, 20 values on there. So we'll, basically what we do is we get all the values um, and sales that are reported um, from January 1st of the tax year to December 31st of the tax year. And we analyze the market and we come up with your notice of value, which, which you're taxed on that value by the treasurer based off the value that we assess your property at. Okay. Well, very good. Now, this notice of value that is going to be going out uh, from your office will be landing in county residences' mailboxes very soon, won't it? Correct. Uh, we'll be mailing out this year, March 30th. And so you'll, you should see those coming probably around that date, maybe a little bit before and a little bit after. And so we ask you that if you haven't received it within that first week of um, of April, please contact our office so that uh, we can get you that notice of value. Um, we, we put all our notice of values online every year after we get them from the printer so that uh, you have access to those um, if you don't get them in a timely manner by the mail. Now, uh, someone receives their notice of value and they say, okay, I have this information here that tells me uh, property value information. And uh, they uh, receive it in the mail and a natural next step might be that they have questions about it. Hey, how did we arrive to this valuation on my property? I have questions about it. Correct. And so basically what I would ask them to do when they open up that notice of value, we have the 2020 property value evaluation uh, information right there that tells you what it was last year. And then we have the 2021 property value information that tells you that we what we were going to value it for this current year. And so basically, if it changes, um, make sure if it changes and you are a longtime resident, that it only goes up 3%. And if it goes up more than that, please contact our office or file an appeal. Um, and we want to help you help you with that. Um, and so that would probably be the biggest thing is to look at last year's and look at current year's value. Now, there's some cases that values will go up more than 3%. And that's if you purchase that property for the first tax year for your for the first year. And so basically, if you bought, purchased it in 2019, basically, that value will go up to market value. Um, whatever around whatever the market indicates of what you purchased it for or around that value, um, if it was market value. And then um, basically, um, then it gets re recapped and reestablished. And then the most we can go up is 3% a year, unless you add an addition or a remodel that goes on as contributory value to the 3% cap. Okay. Well, we're visiting with Santa Fe County Assessor Gus Martinez. We're talking about the notice of value that is going to be sent out to county residents. Uh, and you should be receiving it very, very quickly right around the corner. They're being mailed out on March 31st, you said? 30th. 30th. March 30th. They're being mailed out on March 30th. Correct. So you should get them uh, relatively quickly. And if you have not received yours, by the beginning of uh, April, you're saying to give have uh, county residents call your office. Correct. Yes, okay. please do that so that we can get you that notice of value. Now, also happening during the month of April is your outreach process. One of the uh, key initiatives that I believe uh, you brought to this office because it hadn't been done before. And uh, it is a first for Santa Fe County uh, Assessor's Office. And I think it was a first for any office really uh, at Santa Fe County when you start going out into the communities eight years ago to Correct. have these community meetings with county residents. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what these meetings are for, what they're about, and we'll take a look at the schedule. Okay. And so basically when we, I started these meetings, it was to really educate the public um, and really engage them in the assessment process. And so what I really wanted them to do is understand that notice and why we're valuing the property the way that we are and, and really look at that notice and really 
look at changes because prior to that, people would say, would say, this is this is not a bill, and people would get that notice and they just throw it on their counter and they never look at it unless um, something happened with their value and they get their tax bill by the treasurer's office and then they would call and say, hey, my value went up, what happened? And so I really wanted to really do these outreaches to give property owners the opportunity to connect with our office, to sit down with us one-on-one, -on -one, to ask any questions about our office and go over their value. And so basically what we did is we we went around the whole county um, in different locations up in the northern part of the county, around the city limits of Santa Fe and the southern part of the county to really go over uh, their valuation. They can claim benefits and exemptions at that same time and really connect with the public and build trust in, in within that off within our office with the public in what we're doing and and so um i really look forward to it every year to really sit down with the constituents and really get to know them by name and 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 really just uh be a servant and re really just help them and I, I mean it's a really i really enjoy it and I, my staff really enjoys this time of year even though it's our busiest time of year uh we really enjoy just connecting with the with the constituent now, obviously, this past year has been challenging uh, in the pandemic uh, for everyone. Uh, now, let me ask you what the outreach process has been like uh, during this time and, and what precautionary measures you'll be taking to meet with the public during uh, the uh, meetings this year. Yeah, so so basically, we wanted it to to be really safe for the constituent. We wanted to make sure that they felt safe coming to those locations, and so we will definitely um, we are taking appointment only. Basically, we're going to give you a cell number to call, um, and and you'll make that appointment. And so we know you're going to be there, and basically, we'll sit with you one on one. We'll have shields. We'll have all the, the all the protection and stuff that, that we need for, for you as well as us um, to just to make you feel safe. And, and basically um, each, each area will have that, the, you, the constituent will call in, we'll schedule that appointment there and you'll have that time slot for yourself. And so, so basically just, we just want to still connect with you, but, but make it safe also. Oh, very good. And uh, these uh, ability to, to meet with someone and staff through these, uh, you know, uh, enhanced uh, public safety measures, uh, or even uh, can they talk to you over the phone, have a uh, virtual meeting? Correct. Yes. And we, we put in this year virtual meetings also. So if people don't feel comfortable going out to the community, they can schedule a time for a virtual meeting with us. And we will sit that down with them one-on-one -on -one also and go over any questions that they may have at their comfort of their home. So so basically we're, we want to uh, put it out there for everybody um, so that it reaches every, you know, every aspect, people that want to use technology, people that just want to go and meet with us face-to-face. Um, so yeah, so basically we want to kind of just help everybody in that, uh, in, in their realm. Now, uh, taking a look at this schedule here for, uh, the, uh, month of April, the, uh, property valuation outreach locations, uh, the, uh, community outreach meetings start April, is that 6th? April 6th. Correct. Okay. And uh, we will be having, um, they'll be in five locations. Um, and the locations, we're going to be uh, two in El Dorado area at the senior center. They will be three locate three times in uh, Edgewood at the senior center down, down south. Um, also, there'll be two locations at the um, fairgrounds here at the city limits of Santa Fe. And also one in Santa Cruz up north in Abadon Lopez and two in Powak area. So we try to hit kind of around the county there as much as we could. We, we're not doing as much outreach as we had in the previous years just due to COVID, but, um, but hopefully it'll rebound next year and we'll have a lot more outreaches in, in our community. Okay, so even though we have different locations, and let's just look at the month, uh, the first week of April. So April 6th is the El Dorado Max Call Corridor Community Center. You'll be there from 4 to 6.30. Then on April 7th, there's the virtual outreach online via WebEx. And then on Thursday, there is the uh, Santa Fe County Fairgrounds location. Now, at these uh, two different locations, um, at El Dorado and at the County Fairgrounds, uh, again, uh, you are taking every step and measure to uh, keep people safe and there's a phone number when they, I, I'm assuming when they arrive into the parking lot, the cell number 
that people are supposed to call uh, will be displayed. Is that correct? Correct. So basically what we'll do is we'll ask you to call into the main office to schedule the appointment, and then we're going to give you a cell number to call when you get there for your appointment so we know oh. that you're outside. Got and it. Okay, so bring you in. Okay, so okay, so anyone that wants to go to El Dorado on the 6th, and you're there from 4 to 6.30. Before they go there, they need to call your office uh, to be able to schedule that appointment. And at that time, you give them the cell number that they need to call when they arrive on scene. Correct. Yes, exactly right. Yes. Okay. So, All right. So I just want to make sure that we spell out that process. And I thank you for going that over with me. Uh, one more time so that there's uh, nothing lost in translation for our folks out there when I'm trying to convey that on the radio. So I'm glad that you articulated that for us. And we will also give them a courtesy call the day before. So we'll mm -hmm. let them know this is your scheduled appointment. We're going to be there. Um, and just so that they know um, and get a reminder. Great. So call 505-986-6300 to reserve a time. And you will be able to visit either virtually or in person uh, with someone from the Santa Fe County Assessor's Office to go over your property valuation. So if you receive this in the mail and you have questions and you're wanting to talk to them, this is a good opportunity to do that, right? Correct. Yes, the best way to do it, whether it's out there in your community or it's um, it coming to our office or it's virtual um, you know, we're trying to hit every avenue that we can to connect with our constituents. Now, somebody might be saying, okay, I have a disagreement with the county assessor's office on my valuation, and I want to uh, let them know that I have a disagreement. What's that process about? So they can go two different processes. Um, when we are at those locations, we will have forms that they can fill out and we will go over their assessment, um, any questions they may have regarding their property, why they feel it's too high, or if there's something wrong with their, their home, we'll note all that information as we're there. Now, if they're not at the outreach, they can call into the office or do a virtual, um, and basically we will give them steps online to file an appeal. And, and, and basically it's, it's pretty easy. They go into our website. There's a portal there for filing an appeal. They put their information out there and we get it, it, it electronically right away. And then we'll give it to an appraiser. But if they want to talk to somebody, they definitely can call in and we will have um, appraisers on standby to answer any of their, their questions regarding their property assessment or myself. Very good. We are visiting with Santa Fe County Assessor Gus Martinez. We're talking about the uh, notice of values that are being sent out, as well as the upcoming uh, uh, outreach meetings uh, that the county assessor is having. Now, uh, one of the uh, things that I've noticed is that uh, the Office of County Assessor over these last couple of terms uh, under your leadership, you have received uh, a very prestigious re uh, awards, haven't you? Correct. Yeah. You know what? Uh, we're pretty, we're, we're very proud of those awards, not knowing like going into this, that we were going to receive these awards, but it, it happened as, as we streamlined our processes, brought in customer service technology and that, and we were recognized uh, nationally and internationally uh, with, with a few awards regarding our accomplishments uh, in the office and what we do. And so we're pretty excited about that. When you go to SantaFeCountyNM.gov slash assessor, the way I just did now, immediately there is a chat with the assessor's office window that just popped up and it says questions about your property value. So if I start typing uh, something in there, I'm assuming there's a live person responding. Correct. We have we, we have 10 agents that uh, that correspond with you live at any given time. Um, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so they'll answer your questions right on the spot. Wow, this is great. Uh, taking a look at some of the features of your website, you do have uh, a number of different um, uh, educational resource materials for people to learn all about the valuation process. Uh, there's a number of different statistics uh, regarding uh, the uh, property values uh, and your core values. Look at that. Yeah, you have... Uh, a lot of the uh, core values 
uh, honesty and integrity, fairness, equality, quality and excellence and teamwork and sustainability, as well as your mission and your vision. Again, at SantaFeCountyNM.gov slash assessor. But I'm taking a look at some of these awards that you have received. Uh, very impressive uh, to the office here. Yes, you know, um, like I said, we're very proud of those. We we got, we got you know, 2016 was our first award, and um, it was the Public Information Program Award. And basically, they look at jurisdictions throughout the United States of how we connect with our constituents and get information out to them. Um, and using technology, our chat feature, our website, um, all that they take in, take and look look into it and. And basically, at the, when we got that award, we were at, we were doing things that other offices around the country weren't doing, and and so we we got this award, um, and we were very very proud um, of that award, and and with all the stuff that we were able to kind of put in place to to receive that. So, um, so that was a, that was a huge one, and yeah. then it is remarkable to hear uh, of process improvement taking place not only in. Uh, private business, but in government. And so to be recognized not only at a um, national level, but a international level as well is, is, is a real nice spotlight for Santa Fe County to uh, be put in. And so there's a lot to be proud of. I know that you're one of the um, first people to acknowledge uh, and uh, your, your staff that works there with you. Yeah, correct. I mean, I, look, we can't, I can't do this without my staff. You know, we, I have a great team. I'll put this team against any assessment jurisdiction in the United States. I, I mean, that's how proud I am of, of, of my team. And, and when they do accomplishments within the office, we recognize them within our website and, and that, and, and I have a great team and, and um, I'm very proud of them, for what they've been able to accomplish um, the past um, seven years under my administration. And so uh, very, very proud of, of them. Well, uh, I, I know that there are a number of uh, different exemptions that people can apply for uh, when they talk with you and your staff. Uh, and we'd love to invite you back to talk about those uh, more in-depthly at another time. But what if you could just explain to the listening audience what an exemption is. Well, an exemption is a benefit that a taxpayer gets. Um, there's there's several uh, exemptions that they they receive, uh, but they have to apply for them between the month of um, April or, or or May 30th through uh, um, I'm actually um, March 30th through May May 1st um, to get it on this tax year. But you know, you there's a head of family exemption. There's veterans exemptions. There's agricultural special method. Um, there's an exemption there. There's um, value freezes for, for people that are 65 years or older. Um, there's a hundred percent disabled veteran. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about on the next one, go in depth about each, each exemption and what does it mean to the property tax uh, payer and, and, and how does it benefit them by applying for these exemptions that are out there. Um, so we, you know, at this time of year, we try to get as much information out as possible. I know it is a lot, but uh, you know, we have our website that it, that's there and we get probably roughly about, over 30,000 hits a month on our wow. website that goes that traffic that goes through there. And so just a good way for us just to try to get information out, but, uh, and really just try to connect with our constituent. Well, uh, head on over to Santa Fe County nm.gov slash assessor, uh, to connect uh, with these resources on exemptions. Uh, again, if you are interested in talking to someone from the Santa Fe County assessor's office, it's important to schedule an appointment, whether it's uh, going to be in person there at the office or out at the outreach locations or virtually. And that number one more time is 505-986-6300. Santa Fe County Assessor Gus Martinez, this is uh, incredible to uh, see uh, the great work that's being done uh, by your by your office. And uh, just want to commend you and, and your staff on, on, on these uh, projects. And I just like to say, if they want to talk to me personally, I'll give them my direct line. It's 986-6395 if you want to call and just ask questions about what, whatever, property assessment, valuation, about the office, I'm willing to answer any questions. So again, my number is 986-6395. You, like, you still like talking shop, huh? I just want to let people know that you're, uh, you grew through the ranks there at the assessor's office. Correct, yes. And, 
and it's uh, often that you uh, go to the front desk uh, to go deal with the public. Um, but um, there you go. People can call you personally uh, to talk about things. And so uh, you're not just uh, an elected figurehead that uh, just is there for show. You actually know exactly what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all I, to me. It's all about serving the public. I mean, that's why I'm in here is to try to make a difference in our community and 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 to the public, you know, and and be accessible to them. And that's what I promised. And so, I'm just doing what what I said I was going to do. Well, thank you very much, uh, Santa Fe County Assessor Gus Martinez, for being with us in our listening audience today. And you have yourself a great day. Thanks. Have a good day.